Yo, what is going on Omni Gang? My name is Omni Omen and today we've got some brand new news for me to share with you guys. We just got some news from Rockstar Games about a GTA Online and Red Dead Redemption Online community update. And I think there was some very interesting news in this article that I wanted to be able to share with you guys. So let's take a look at this, shall we? Before we actually get into actually reading the article here, I want to point out a couple of things. Um, what I think is really, really important enough about this article for me to be making a video on it is the fact that some of the news shared in this article specifically regarding GTA Online, which is what I'm going to be focusing in this video about, was about making the game more accessible to not just a casual player and just a person who wants to play it without getting completely bombasted by millions of modders and hackers but also for streamers who want to play the regular game outside of uh, the no pixel rp if i'm getting that correctly and it's looking very very promising as someone who's played gta online on stream in the past here on pc i honestly uh did not have a very good experience as a result of uh unlikely encountering way too many modders but in the future though, with the updates that they are apparently promising, I'm thinking we could see a much bigger resurgence of GTA Online on Twitch and on YouTube and any live streaming platforms because of this update. So, if you enjoyed watching this video, make sure to leave a like and hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification icon so that way you can stay up to date on when I'm uploading a brand new video. It helps a lot and we're getting very, very close to 100 subscribers. We're literally 11 away. So if you want to help me get to that last 11, make sure to help me out if you would join my company. Let's get into this. So as it starts off here, it's talking about, you know, what's in store for Rockstar Games community in the weeks and months ahead. More players than ever taking to the streets of Los Santos thanks to the recent launches of PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X. S will be working to improve the overall GTA Online experience with new gameplay updates, adding top community requested experience improvements and upgrades to make it easier for players to enjoy everything GTA Online has to offer. So essentially what it's saying here is that we are to expect in the next few short weeks a brand new update that's going to expand upon the criminal careers of executives, bikers, gun riders, and nightclub owners all throughout GTA Online, as well as brand new contact missions for the IAA uh, in GTA Online, so it's going to have some interesting new experiences. But one of the most amazing things that they could have possibly added into this was the fact that they are finally nerfing the Oppressor MK2. Everyone's asked for it. Everyone's asked for this for such a long time, and we're finally getting the wish that we've all desired. So, Rockstar, if you're watching this, thank you for listening to the community. And we're also apparently going to be getting more convenient ways to access snacks and armor. And most importantly, for Twitch streamers who don't want to get stream sniped, you're going to be able to do cell missions in invite-only sessions. So, for me, I can finally go into a cell mission for all of my businesses without having to do the private public lobby glitch where you literally just had to screw around with your internet and then just BAM everyone's gone. No longer had to do that so I'm really really excited and I'll be able to play some of these cell missions inviting you guys in my community who come on by to my streams in the future if I do decide to play GTA Online again to help me with my missions with uh a little bit more fun than just some random on uh, a press MK2 uh, just blowing everything up. But I wouldn't have to worry too much about that anyways anymore since uh, they're apparently being nerfed. And more than that, the GTA money payouts is going to be massively increased as well to reward all the players for all the time they put in on missions that previously weren't as worth it compared to the more grindy sort of things they call the different heists and whatnot. And speaking of the heist, I mean, even some of the heists are getting a payout increase. So, it's going to be very, very nice. And even more, bodyguards, associates, and MC members will see payouts increase for the first time in a very long time, I believe. So, it is going to be encouraging cooperative play a lot more than it did previously, where it just felt like 
Okay, I'm gonna grab you a couple of randoms. Uh, you're gonna help me with these missions, and I'm gonna get lots of money, and you're gonna be like my slave laborer. Yeah, no, we're not gonna have to deal with that anymore, thankfully. All those people who've helped me out all throughout the years, and anyone who's gonna help me out in the future, or any other Twitch streamer, or just regular players, they're gonna get their fair compensation for their time and effort. And including activities uh, such as the races and adversary modes besides the heists, races and adversary modes are also gonna be seeing a giant pay increase, I'm assuming. It, it says greater payouts in the article, so I'm assuming it's gonna be giant. But I'm I have I I have high hopes that it's at least gonna be a decent change. And another few things that are gonna be coming is uh, new seasonal events, additional bonuses and gifts, community challenges, and a few other surprises apparently that currently remain unknown to keep Los Santos as dynamic and unpredictable as ever. So all in all, it's looking really, really good for GTA Online players. Now, there's also another section on this article about Red Dead Redemption Online, but I've never played Red Dead Redemption Online, so I'm not really too big of uh, going over that sort of stuff because I don't really know much about the game at all, because considering I've never even played it before, to actually give my two cents on it. But all in all, though, GTA Online is going to be getting some massive boosts for all the community members in which it's going to be more playable and enjoyable for everyone across the board. So if you are a big fan of GTA Online, keep your eye out for the next couple of weeks. I might actually be doing another video following up on this when that update drops and I'll be going through over all the new updates that have come out in the game with a little bit of gameplay to complement it. So if you want to see that video, make sure to subscribe for next time. But I think that's going to wrap this up for the video. I'm very excited for what's going to be coming because for me personally, I played GTA Online for so, so long since the game originally came out on PlayStation 3. And ever since moving to PC, I've enjoyed the experience, especially on my brand new game computer that isn't so brand new anymore. But when I got it, it was so much cleaner, so good. But the hackers and the modders have always made that a more difficult experience, especially considering uh, for a lot of the content where you get the most money, you have to be in public session to do it. So being able to have that in invite only sessions is going to be a massive boost for everyone across the board. So I'm very, very excited to see what's going to be coming from that as well as the other bonuses that they're going to be doing. I am I feel like this is the most excited I've been for GTA Online gameplay in a very long time, man. So take care of yourselves as always, Omni Gang. And remember, keep doing what y'all do best and stay wild. I'll see y'all in the next video.